What's up social media? Ben here, coming at you with another review of a thing in a box. Today, I thought we'd look at something with uh, a pretty cool, unique uh, controller. Um, that's like a big part of game collecting for me, is I like to go through a system that I really enjoy and get stuff, uh, get controllers for it that most people haven't seen. I think it's really cool to see all these either ugly is a big one for me uh useless is another big one but uh like one of a kind functionality is another huge one for me so today i thought we'd look at a ps uh game that came with the ps2 controller that is pretty unique um so i thought we'd look at the seaman 2 uh, Japanese release, of course. It didn't come out in America. Um, microphone controller combo pack. So in this box, it's, it comes with the game. comes with this very strange controller. Doesn't look like a modern controller. At least for PS2 modern. It looks like an old controller when PS2 was new. So I thought, you know... I kick off the whole controller collection with you guys. Show you a little bit of uh, C-Man 2 uh, packaging at the same time. It's a very weird series. I think you guys would get a get a kick out of its humor. How how awkward and Japanese it is. So yeah, let's take a look what's in this box. So. Here we got the old Seaman game for the PlayStation 2. Let's take a closer look. So as you can tell, I was real excited, you know, pointed at this game tons of time. Nail marks, you know, no big deal though. No, I'm just kidding. My box got a few dings though. So if we take a look at the side, it says... Uh, probably uh, Seaman 2 in Japanese. So, you know, and then it says microphone controller or something along those lines. Uh, don't panic. Um, so I haven't really gotten to dive into this one, but the first one is a pretty disturbing game. It's pretty funny. Um, so if this is anything like the first one, you're going to talk to talk to the sea man sort of like a pet but from from what i understand this is more like you're like a god character sort of sort of raising and evolving your own species sort of thing more than you're going to be like having a pet in a fish tank that evolves over time and um the real unique special thing about the original Seaman game to me is that it really listens to you and it starts to say things back that are really disturbing like how how could it remember that uh it says things that sort of get to you it's like a it's like a really corny x you know like or it's like someone who knows you real real well and it's a it's a video game ai so it's it's had to have been hard to hard to program, but they really pay attention. Uh, I'm pretty sure it looked at like other games you played on the memory card. It remembers how long it's been since you talked to it last. Like, it's like a real clingy like clingy significant other that's like kind of toxic. But it's really interesting to see. It's cool to see what it evolves into. And I've never had a game really get to know you like that. Like, it's like a psychological abuse game, kind of, the first one. While making a lot of funny psychological abuse jokes. You know, it's pretty interesting. Pretty weird. I don't think I explained that like it's fun, but it is pretty interesting. You just would put, like, a few minutes a day into it until it all added up. And the more days you put into it... You know, Sega started on the Dreamcast. Um, the more it gets to know you and the more personal the jokes and stuff would get. 
So it it's it's pretty weird. Like it's a really bizarre game concept, but you do have to speak to it for it to really get to know you. It's really weird. Can't really explain it. So like first things first, let's check out, you know, the case. Woo. This is a very I don't know. I think uh, Japanese DVD cases were much smoother. Like, wow. But yeah, same back as front. Uh, I do like the Japanese releases tend to really give the game designer a lot of credit at the bottom of the spine. Because a lot of people in America even now collect based on like program, like Game designing companies and all that, software companies, jazz. But it's always just on the front cover. It's never on the spine. So, like, this makes it real uniform and nice on a bookshelf to sort by game developer. And I like that. I'm, I'm really into that. So here, we got your Seaman 2 disc. Uh, this is a pretty nice looking disc. I can't, can't really explain it. Like, Japanese discs, they, they look like they use a different ink or something to me. They always look nicer. They always look very luxurious. Very luxurious stuff. Yeah, very luxurious. Let's see. Ah, so here... We got your basic, you know, instructions that I can't read on how to use the microphone controller. And they have the symbol for the first Seaman right there. Because he goes from, like, Tadpole to Frogman to... And it's always this weird, like, Asian man face. It's really disturbing on the head of the animal that's evolving. And it's a really blasé voice. Like, you kind of got to just check out the first one. It's sick. But, yeah. So, yeah. But this controller, it reminds me of, like, a really awesome Sega Genesis controller. Or, like, a nice Sega Saturn controller. Like, I really like the controller design, but it does not look like a PS2 controller. It looks like it's missing a little much to be a PS2 controller. So we got here the little monkey man with your hands. So, because the theme is you're sort of going to be the god of the game. So this is black, white, and yellow. There's a hairy butt. Don't flag me. But yeah, so got your, your nice little, uh, nice little baby child person. You know, because like a kid playing in a sandbox. That's all. That's all God is to the Sea Man's creators. And uh. Wow, very cool, very cool. Don't exactly know what it says, but that is some good presentation. From the land of the rising sun. Dang! These kicks is nice! Puma got the free plug! Dang! No, Puma probably paid for that plug. Check out these shoes, though. I would wear those Pumas. I'd wear those Pumas for sure. See, this is more reminiscent of Seaman 1 to me than the Monkey Man. Because it's like some awkward human other animal. Like, like, the avian form does not deserve the mammalian form, which is human. Just like fish people and amphibian people. Like, it just doesn't mix with me. It bugs me. It bugs me. Biology major here. So, yeah. I mean, I don't do black and white manuals that often, but... I am all sorts of okay with, um... Black, white, and yellow manuals. But, even then, like... At least it, it looks more, more important and cool. But, like, I like how it's, like, human hand. Like, 
dropping in the evolution. Very cool. It says it says to speak in the mic and he will do things. You know. Just like the picture. Just like the picture. Just like the picture. Just like the picture. What is this card? I wonder if it is a phone number to call in Japan. In Japan. That looks more like a old sea man. But yeah, that's pretty interesting. I'm surprised they went with like Seaman TV. Wow. But yeah, I'm surprised they went with like such a plain manual, honestly. But at least this box is like real cool. Real cool stuff. Like, I feel like. I feel like this game is a really good example of how different the Japanese humor is to America's. Because this is some real weird humor. I'm not going to lie. This is some real weird humor. Like, very awkward Japanese humor. But that's an American standpoint. They're probably like, how do you have such boisterous forward humor? I don't know. I don't know what Japan says about us, though. I'm sure they got their own things to say as they observed the world differently than we did. But yeah, so... Here, we got the In the Plastic still. Uh, old, uh... That's the old, old microphone piece. See, very similar to how the uh, Xbox 360... Had the two little pegs, and then they had this with the little, the little uh, mic, little chat mic. Just can't get mad at that. Surefire design. Xbox probably copied. And then here, we got we got the controller in the plastic, cause all you know, you know. Well, this is weird. Because this is exactly like a Sony DualShock PS1 controller joystick. Like, it doesn't click though. But, and then they have A, B, C, X, Y, Z. Is this a Sega Saturn controller or no? But yeah, it plugs into the USB port. It's not even a PS2 jack. USB A, you know what I'm saying. USB A for all those people who know the differences of USBs. So this sucker plugs right in here. Man, that controller is awkward. Like I don't know if you're getting the phallic joke of this controller. But this controller looks like Japanese humor to me. Like Are you serious? Walk into the room like hello. Wow, that controller is inappropriate. This controller looks like a sundial. Oh, like, look, as the day goes on. And the time passes. Yeah, this is like, this is very interesting. It's got three lights right here and then a fourth light right above it. So I should have said four lights. But, yeah, this... This controller is something else. You know, Sega fanboy till I die. Gotta have every Sega controller ever released. Just saying. Very nice Sega emblem. On the back of this very awkward controller. Like. I would say. I would say. Like. I would say this controller is awkward. I would say this controller is very awkward. No, this controller... This controller does feel like a cheap POS. But this D-pad feels good. I could do some quarter circles or dragon punches with it. But... This... This is a cheesy controller, but... I do gotta say, it's got a very unique look. 
it looks like I don't even know this controller is awkward but yeah it feels like really cheap honestly but you can't be mad because all it, all it's really there for is to give the PS2 a mic but I am surprised they gave it extra buttons like I'm glad that they really went for the Sega look like I really like that I hope you guys enjoyed that review of C-Man with the microphone controller bundle for the Japanese PlayStation 2. Uh, this game is uh, about as funny as it is creepy. You know, if you play it, it might give you nightmares. But uh, yeah, it's a good experience to try out the first one if you could find the microphone controller. <laughs> For cheap on the Dreamcast, burn the game, whatever. It's a pretty cool experience. So, yeah, if you like what you saw, don't forget to like and subscribe. And you can check me out on Twitter at Bing underscore Bailey. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember to have a great day.